Let's hope my PR is accepted today. Wait, 20 comments? Don't use document, use, use ref. What the f is use ref? Okay, let's read the documentation. <laughs> Wake up. Let me help you. I know that useref is really hard to understand and even harder to use. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what useref is used for, how to use it, especially if you're working at a company. This is my most common use of useref while working at Slack. And I'm going to show you exactly how we use useref to help you understand this use hook that has a troublesome reference hello everyone and welcome to another react video where i shruti kapoor your favorite developer entertainer and educator help you understand react hooks one hook at a time so in this video we're going to talk about use ref hook and if you like this series you might like my full react course where i bring last 10 years of working at companies like slack and paypal and bring you the experience to help you understand why React is useful in companies and why everybody is looking for React developers. The link for that is going to be in the description. But in this video, we're going to learn use ref. So if you're ready, let's get started. But wait, I have a question for you. What is the most commonly used language in programming? The answer is going to be at the end of this video. So keep watching. Let's get into it. Now first, let's understand what is useRef. What does it do? What is it creating in React? useRef actually creates a variable where you can put stuff in it. Now you can create a variable using useState as well. What is the difference? The difference between creating a variable with useState is that when you create a variable with useState, it gives you a state variable where you can put stuff in it using a setState function. However, when you create a variable with ref, you don't get access to this box. You get a ticket. In order to access this box, you need to give me this ticket. And anytime you need to put anything in it, you can just call this ticket. Now here's a key difference. Anytime you put something in the state variable, React re-renders. However, when you put something in the ref box using the ticket, the reference, React doesn't update. And that is the prime difference between a use state variable that makes React re-render versus a ref variable that gives you access through a ticket which is the current and and react doesn't re-render when anything is put in this ref variable now let's look at some code let's understand the difference between how react handles state variables and a ref variable in this example i have two variables set up i have a ref variable using use ref and then i have a state variable called text using use state hook now in order to update a ref variable i need to set the ref dot current value to the value that i want it to set to so here I have a ref variable and I have a state variable. Now I'm going to show you how React handles state updates and how React handles ref updates. So what do you think happens when I click on update ref button? Pause the video and tell me in the comments. Okay, let's do this. If I click update ref, nothing happened. But what happens if I click update state? Pause the video and tell me. Now if I update state, both of those variables update. What happened there? So what happened was that ref was updated to the new value of world, but React didn't re-render that because React doesn't re-render on ref updates. But when you hit update state, React re-renders the app and picks up any new value that's been picked up, which also happens to be the ref value as well, which is world. So now both of the values are updated to world. And that's how React handles ref updates. If ref updates, React does not re-render the app. This is why ref is not the appropriate variable to use for components and properties where you want the app to be updated. All right, here's an example of why refs are so important. Here I have a video element and what I want that when I hit the play button, this video should pl start playing. And if I hit the pause button, the video should stop playing. 
how can I do that in React? One thing you can understand is that I need access to this video element. I can access the play and pause functionality of a video HTML element. Now you might think that in JavaScript, we can use document.querySelector. Can we do that here? And let me tell you, I did that and that was the problem that caused me so many issues with rendering in React. So in React, you want to use refs and not document.querySelector to select an element. Because the reason is that when a component unmounts in React, React knows that it needs to reset the value of ref to be null. And therefore, in React, you must use ref to get access to an element. So in order to access this video element, React actually provides a handy attribute called ref. So we're going to attach a video ref, but also create that video ref. So we're going to use video ref to get access to a ref. Now that I have attached a ref here, I can now easily access this ref element in my function. Now I have added a function called toggle play. What I'm going to do is that if I have a video ref and I have a value in its current as in it's not null, if the video is playing, I want to pause the video. Else if the video is not playing, then I want to play the video. Let's save this and see if this works. And the video starts running. And that is how you can use refs to access a DOM element in React. An important use case of using ref is also to focus on an element. And we are going to try this challenge on React documentation to focus the search field with separate components. So let's try it. I forked this code sandbox here and we have a search button. What we want to do is that when we click on the search button, we want to focus on this input field. Now using your knowledge of ref, where do you, th where do you think we should put the ref? Pause the video and tell me in the comments. If you said put the ref on the search input, you are correct. So let's go into the search input component. We have to put the ref here on the input. Where should this input ref come from? You'll notice that the search button is the one that has the click capability. So when we click this button, we want the ref in this button to be updated. So I'm gonna create my refs here. And I'm gonna pass this to in, uh, ref down to search input. All right, so I've attached, attached the ref here. But now what I want to do is that when I click on this button, I want to update that ref. So I'm gonna create an on-click handler here. I click on the button, I access the ref, access its current element and focus it. And now I'm going to pass this handle focus down to my search button and update search button to use that handle focus. Okay, use ref is not defined, import use ref from react. Okay, now if everything works right, if I click on search, Oh, cannot read properties of null. So if I click search, I should be able to focus this. It's not working. I think the problem is that I need to update this to input ref. And now if I click search, it focuses. And that's how you pass a ref from one element, the page element, down to another element in order to focus that element. You can simply pass it down as a prop. This is possible with React 19. However, if you are on a older version of React, you would need to use forward refs. Now, here's a challenge that I want you to try out. This is on React's website, and this is challenge four in referencing values with refs. This says, read the latest state. In this example, we want that when you type hello in this field and you hit send, but then you quickly type something else, we want this hello <laughs> value to be shown in this alert. How can we do that? Typically, you would want that whatever is in the input value should be the value that you want to show in the alert, which is why we are using set use state here and setting the text. And on click, it actually displays that text as well. Can you think of a way through which we can store this updated value or the value that was in here and show that value instead of the value that was submitted at the time of clicking the button. Let me know in the comments if you were able to successfully do it. Good luck. All right, let's recap what we learned today. Number one, 
Refs are plain JavaScript objects that can be used to store any value. However, when a ref updates, React does not re-render the app. This is why refs can be used to hold values between renders. Second, you can access the current value of ref by accessing ref.current. And third, refs can be super helpful to access DOM and anytime you need to step out of React's boundary. So therefore, refs are super helpful when you need to focus an element, when you need to scroll something in view, or when you need to access an element and access its properties like playing, pausing with the video. Now, if you like this video, go check out the video on use effect. It's linked right here. And now for the question that I asked earlier, what is the most commonly used language in programming? And the answer is profanity. 